what's the possibility of uh, Deron Ennis getting the Keith Thurman fight or the St. Louis fight? Uh, you know, I I like it. You know, it'd be expensive fight. You know, but I think it's it's worth it. I think Jerron's got a lot of a lot of opportunities. I mean, would love to make a Virgil Ortiz fight. Um, I don't know if Golden Boy is interested or not, but I, I know Jerron would make that fight. Love to make a Stan Yonis fight. You know fight. they ain't doing business, Steven. Come on. Look, it, there, there shouldn't be a reason not to. I know they just signed a DAZN deal, so maybe it's a little harder now than it was last week. But you know. That's what's going to happen, you know. You know, in order to elevate these guys, they got to get the big fight. What's the level of interest for uh, Jerome versus Keith for Jerome? Well, I, I love the fight. I love the Stan Yonis fight. I mean, at this point, everything that Jerron does is going to have to be meaningful. You know, put him in a position. If it's not a title fight, it needs to get him one step closer to a title fight. You know, and Stan Yonis, uh, you know, Thurman, you know, three or four other fights. You know, they're all in that conversation. Now, real quick, um, just going back, you said the boots fight would be really expensive. It's because, like, the Cameron Duncan and Al Heyman, like, boots, is, it's, it's signed to Showtime, right? And yeah, it's, it's, it's just because it's, it's a big fight. You know, he's been a star for a long time. He, he's got a certain level of purse. Boots has a certain level of purse. And, and it, you know, it's, it's an expensive fight. Now, that doesn't mean it can't happen or it shouldn't happen. Um, and it, it, it's worth it. I mean, that's a that's a really mouthwatering matchup. Um, but you know, it's not just you know that one fight that we're chasing. There are you know lots of opportunities for boots that you know we need to continue to move him up and put him up, help him get into a position where he can challenge. For he's not, he has like a, a deal with Showtime, exclusive, like exclusively, meaning that there's more than just oh they're both on Showtime or they fight on Showtime. Is that he has his people that has to work with. Yeah, I mean, yeah. The, the the reality is, look, when we we've done a lot of work with him. Um, we're making a commitment to him, and we're going to continue to feature him and give him opportunities. He's making a commitment to us, and he's going to continue working with us. And you know, even if we didn't have that, um, you know, it's been a, a great relationship. We really can't argue with the results. I think we've been a, a, a big supporter and helped him get in the position that he's in. He's done his job in the ring, looking fantastic every time he goes out. And I think, look, everything's clicking, so we're just going to keep putting him on that platform and watch him and succeed. Virgil Ortiz recently said when you guys fight each other, then he's going to walk right through you. What's your response to that? Uh, you know that don't, that don't make no sense. He ain't walking through nothing over here. It, it's, it's different over here. Everybody see this, they see that. But when you get in the ring with me, you can ask anybody that stepped in the ring with me, whether it was sparring or fighting. They never been the same. They sparred me or for me, and they 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 tell you that he different. I got my own speed, my own. I got a different type of power. I got my own everything. You know, so the walk speed. down, the walk down, that's not happening. And I, and I beat you at your own game. You think you can walk me down? I'm gonna walk you down. Like, then, then what you gonna do? You can't outbox me. So. Right 